Hi Theory people, I'm going to review how to use the chart because you may have forgotten. So, one can go anywhere. It's our magic cord. It can do whatever it wants. Three has a couple of options. It can go to six or it can skip to four. Okay. Six can go to this column which is four or two. If it goes to two, it can then go on to the next ones. If it goes to four, four can go to two. Okay. Once we get to this column, four can go to two, or four can go to the next column, or four can go to one. We just learned that four to one is our plagal cadence, okay? Let's talk about two real quick. Two can go to five or seven. Four can go to five or seven, okay? Then we get to this last column, the five or seven. Five and seven can go back and forth, okay? And when you're using your seven chord, it's always going to be in first inversion, which has the six, which means your third is on the bottom. Never double the root of this chord. That's your leading tone. You never want to double your leading tone. It makes it sound super duper crunchy. And then you have all sorts of other problems like voice leading. So five to seven, seven to five, those can go to one. Or five and seven can go back to six. Five to six or five to anything really. But mainly usually five to six is going to be your deceptive cadence, okay? If we end a phrase with the five chord, that is going to be your half cadence. How I remember that? is if you have a decimal that equals one half okay so if you end with five think half okay if you have any other questions about this as always please let me know I will be on the classroom meet every day during our normal class time, okay? So you have a lot of options. When you're dealing with writing for cadences, it's usually best to start backwards, okay? And I will cover that in the next video.